Among the topics raised at Gordon Brown's first monthly press conference were relations with China and Russia and the situations in Iraq and Iran. But first, the Prime Minister voiced his support for his predecessor, Tony Blair. We are totally in support of the work that uh, Tony Blair is now doing in the Middle East. We will give him whatever help we can for what is a very important uh, mission. Uh, I understand what he has said over the last few days about the importance of uh, discussions with the different Palestinian groups. Uh, we have also said that we will provide whatever economic support can uh, uh, buttress a, a peace process in the area. Uh, and I look forward to being able to work with him and with the whole of the quartet as we try and combine measures for security and measures for economic development uh, in the area. We still hold uh, fast uh, to the quartet uh, principles uh, that uh, we look forward to Hamas uh, renouncing uh, uh, violence and accepting uh, the state of Israel. Everybody who has um, something to offer I I in Iraq should be listened to. And of course our troops are, are there at the moment under a UN mandate and the UN is therefore directly involved uh, through, the, through that. Uh, I, I think myself that the elements that are needed in Iraq are the combination of getting the security right. So we now have 300,000 uh, security forces that are either the army or the police forces that are Iraqi people themselves. And that group of security uh, 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 forces should build up to half a million over the next uh, few months, uh, creating a situation where in most of the areas of Iraq, Iraqi people are able to defend the security of their own country. It's got to be combined, as I've said uh, to um, the politicians in Iraq uh, myself, by a willingness uh, to reach uh, out for political reconciliation. So the different groups in Iraq have got to be prepared to work together. And one of the tests is whether we can get the hydrocarbon uh, law through over the next uh, period of time. And then at the same time, I feel strongly when you visit Iraq, when you see that there is a, a very high level of unemployment and inactivity, that people have got to have an economic stake in the future. So in all these uh, three areas, all people of goodwill who are forcing uh, these issues onto the agenda have got a big part to play. It's true that I hope to, to travel to America soon and to meet uh, President Bush. And I believe relationships between a British Prime Minister and an American uh, President will be uh, strong, ha should be strong, uh, and I believe will be strengthened in the, in the months and years to come. Uh, and uh, the American relationship for Britain is our strongest uh, bilateral relationship, and I'm determined to do everything in my power uh, to make sure it is strong and effective uh, in the work it does, uh, not just uh, between our two countries, but for the whole uh, uh, world. Um, I think, as far as Iran is concerned, uh, our policy of working uh, with the other major powers uh, to make it clear to Iran that it is unacceptable uh, to do what they're doing in the development of uh, nuclear power uh, uh, for the um, threat that it may pose for nuclear weapons, uh, that we will continue with the policy of uh, sanctions. Uh, it is likely that there will be a further UN uh, res resolution. Uh, I believe that the work of sanctions is having some effect, and I believe it will continue to do so, and we will take whatever measures are necessary uh, to strengthen the sanctions regime in the future. It is very important that the world understands this, that you cannot have uh, people assassinated on British soil uh, and then discover uh, that uh, you wish to um, uh, arrest uh, someone who is in another country and to be not in a position to do that. Uh, we cannot tolerate a situation where all the evidence is that not only was one person assassinated, assassinated but many other people were put at risk. Uh, and we want uh, the Russian authorities, even at this stage, to recognize that it is their responsibility uh, to extradite for trial uh, the uh, Russian citizen who has been identified by our prosecuting authorities. Relationships between China and Britain are very strong. Um, the trade between China and Britain is growing very fast indeed. It is not simply one way, it is uh, two way. I'm delighted that so many uh, British companies are now engaging with China right across uh, the technologies. Uh, there is a huge amount of scientific cooperation between China and the UK, and, uh, and there is a huge amount of educational cooperation with a large number of students from China, I think 60,000 now studying in British universities and colleges. And as you may know, at the time of the Olympics, uh, which will be held in 2008 in uh, Beijing, there will be also a China-Britain cultural uh, festival, uh, which I think will, will, will signal uh, the important relationships that are developing at a cultural level between Britain and China as well, and I hope to meet uh, Premier Wen soon.